Hey everybody! Last week I did a tutorial showing you how to find family books and family search and but there's only so much I can show you in two minutes so I really wanted to show you a couple other things to help you navigate those books because they really are such a great resource and I want you to be able to know how to use them. So if you didn't see last week's video go watch that first to show you how to get into the books but if you're picking up from last week I'm on the book section like in the digital library and I've already got a name typed in here um, here's my search bar I'm going to search that I'm going to go with this book okay so as I pull this up I'm going to go into the pages now this is a public book so it's going to allow me to view it right online on my computer it's got some subjects and family names and I can scroll through the pages and just start reading if I want but if you find a book and you're not sure maybe if it's your family or if it's another family and you want to just search within this book without having to read the whole thing I want to show you how to do that so on this bottom bar we have some different tools that you can use within the book and I mean it shows you how to zoom in and out and um, just you can you can adjust the contrast and different things like that but I want to show you if we go straight to the search then that's going to bring up a search bar and I want to search within the book let's say that I know that my Buchanan grandmother married a Rogers I want to see if her family is also uh, maybe included in this I'm just gonna look it pops right up Buchanan because I've searched it before so I'm gonna click OK and then it's going to, because this book is indexed, it's going to let me search within all the book pages to see where the Buchanans are listed. So if I see a page that looks like, oh, maybe I want to read that, check that out. I can click on it. I can zoom back out if I need to. Um, to zoom back in, just use move your cursor to the portion of the page that you want to zoom into. And then... Um, it'll zoom into that part and then you can zoom out and if I want to zoom into the bottom I bring my cursor down here and then zoom in again so it's that easy anyway so this gives me a lot of family information inside these books and I can search right within it so I can find the book and then search in it and see if if this is pertinent to my research um, let's try it again let's let's go back to another name one of my family names is Duckworth. Have you ever heard of that? So now I'm going to search. And so I see that we've got some Duckworths here. Got a lot of them, in fact. But let's say because I have so many Duckworths, I want to see if I can find Jesse Duckworth. Now, because I want it to narrow it down by Jesse, I'm going to put quotation marks around his name, and that's going to keep Jesse and Duckworth together. And there is one page on a Jesse Duckworth. And that would give me some information maybe on him. So that's just a couple of um, ideas of how you can search within the books to narrow down the information that's in there. And I love to share this because I feel like this has been such a powerful resource for my family history and I love to see other people find the success and so much work and effort has gone into digitizing these amazing books that we may not have the chance to get our hands on because maybe they're in different parts of the country at least that's the case for me and I believe that family search is indexing about 200 family books a day so even if you look for one and you don't find it check again because you know, a week, a month, a few months later, I mean, you might find a whole bunch of family books that just weren't there before because at 200 books a day, that's a pretty phenomenal library that they're building up for free for us to use within their website. So anyway, check it out. I'd love to know if any of you have any success using this tool because it's just one of my favorite things. Good luck.